Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to use the same project as before from Abu Simbel, but we're going to make our first model. That means that we are not only going to use one panorama, but we're going to use three in that case. Okay, so <clears throat> just go ahead, open the project. Okay, so that was our cube, only one panel, the cube. Now, what we're going to do is to add these two panoramas. <clears throat> we, we have them here already. And I'm going to introduce the reference concept right now. Okay, so as you can see, we're seeing this door from that place. We can also see it from that place. And of course, we see it from here. So we more or less know that one panel is here, the other is the current one that is just here, and the third one would be around here. Okay, so now we are going to create the reference. But before from that, I want to show you that at any time you can hide the 3D model. Now I have hidden the geometry, but I can also hide the vertical lines if I would like. So now we have a clear space and we can start. Okay, the reference has to be an area that is visible from all the panoramas that we want to relate. So here, from here, we create the main reference. We just click the tool. I'm gonna use these two points from here and I just click on the first point and click on the second point. Now that automatically goes to the reference tab where we can see an image with the, with the reference that we just created. Okay, so from here we could go to Nexus Send. We locate the area and now we're not going to create a reference because there is only one main reference and sub-reference that holds from that one. Okay, so we create sub-reference and we have to take in care that the order is very important. So we cannot make the blue point here and the red one here. We have to take in care the order that we create the first main reference. So the first point is here. Now there is this circle that suggests us the position we locate it here and now we are already getting the location of the previous panorama so these two now are related so that is very useful in order to check if the location of the panorama is correct of course, we can navigate from one to the other using this kind of hotspots. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. And we're going to make the same. From here now, of course, we cannot see any of the hotspots because this one is still not related. But I'm gonna just make the same process. So just add sub-reference, I make some zoom. I click the first point where it was the blue one and clicking the second one okay so now we have all our panoramas related in the same model we can see it here it belongs to model zero and we can view our model yeah in that case the color of the model is black so you can hardly see it but you can see the location of the panels here and of course the cube okay now what happens we have them all in the same model and we should remember that we were hiding the model so just go ahead and make it visible again both the geometry and also the cubes uh, the vertical line sorry and now what happens is that when we go to another panorama we already have that geometry because the geometry is shared uh, along all the panoramas that belongs to the model 
what happens here is that sometimes because of stitching issues or because panoramas are not completely straight everything that do not fit exactly so what we can do here is just make a fine tune and adjust to the new situation okay so that will be okay here we do the same on the other side and now we should go to the other panorama and just make the same okay so now we have complete our first model using three panoramas making one reference and relating all the other panoramas with this reference and we have uh, made known the, the concept of fine-tuning what means that we can make a little adjustment in the geometry in order to fit perfectly in all the panoramas okay so now we could make a render project I just turn off this I hit render now now our project is being processed so we will find it here yeah, I've made multi rest so it will take a little bit more meanwhile I, I, I want to explain you that once the images are tiled then we don't have to process them again so the first time it takes uh, longer to render the project but the second time it's much more fast okay so we already have all the project rendered files we can just open that and we are here I make it a bit smaller and we can travel from one panel to the other okay uh, so now you will find all the three images in the description of that video and the challenge is to download them and to create this simple model of course if you want to use your own content this I'm sure it will be much more motivating but I just suggest you you can do with those images okay thank you bye